Let's here we go. Here you go. Backs up. The blitz are coming. And high count comes to the quarterback. Ball is loose. You can't it. Sacking. Put in and recovering at the 25. Hightower's play was a big play. We needed that one. Without that, you know, I don't know if we have enough possessions or, or if we get it done quick enough. When did you smell it? Strips it on. Strips it on. That's it. That's what that strips it <laughs> There you go, the play that largely credited for turning the tide in Super Bowl 51. You said it. We got the man here. We got the men here, actually. Um, you, this is old hat. Yep, you've won Super Bowls before. You won 49. So do you, are you not excited about this? Are you uh, No, it's, it's still it's really so exciting. exciting. <laughs> yeah, like, it's really exciting. It's great. You do it in very exciting fashion. That's for sure, these, these last two Super Bowl titles. Let's go back before your play, Dante. The Falcons, uh, they, a little pitch to Devin Coleman, uh, Tevin Coleman. He scores a touchdown and gets 28-3. to three. What was going on on the sideline at that point? Because it did not look good for the Patriots. Well, that, I mean, on that particular play, that was a, that was a tough play for me. Yeah. Uh, me, and, me and Hi were having a conversation earlier on that one, but uh, sometimes you got to give the opposing team credit for the, the plays that they were able to run. So on that particular play, I was kind of out leveraged. They had a bunch to my side, and the back was on the opposite side, and he went behind the quarterback to the flat and I kind of got caught up in, a, in some bodies and just couldn't get out there. So um, that particular play, you come off, you're just like, all right, well, hey, we get another chance. We got to get the ball back. We got to give as many chances as we can to our offense to score. Um, just knowing that they're so explosive and having Tom, um, Mr. Clutch. So uh, right. again, I was happy my man high here uh, got the strip sack. Can we call you high? Absolutely. Okay, so, so <laughs> walk us through the strip sack. So tell us what you're thinking, what you see. We're on the field with you right now. Um, you know, I, honestly, they ran. Um, I don't know if it was the same play, but they had the same protection, the same same style. Uh, Kyle Sutter does a good job of motioning and trying to hide things and and um, not trying to give it to you too early, but uh, kind of seeing it and they were motioning. I lined up a little bit wider than I did in the previous um, previous play. And, um, I mean, Josh Boyer called up, called up a blitz, and, you know, Matty Pete called it, and, you know, the rest of it was history. Did you put a move on Devontae Freeman? He, he did not get much of a piece of you. you on, block it. Honestly, man, I, I don't think that, um, I don't think that, I don't know if he had me in protection. I don't think that he seen me or, or whatever it might have been, but um, I lined up really wide. I lined up outside of the tight end, and then we're in Trey open, so. Um, he probably didn't see me, or he might have thought that I had the tight end man to man. I'm not sure what it was, but for whatever it was, yeah. I took advantage of it. Yeah, for the Did you guys get a sense at that point? Okay, yeah. that was oh, the yeah. play we needed. Oh, absolutely. And yeah, I mean, even even before you know, we went into halftime. You know, uh, Deron Harmon was on the sideline. You know, just preaching like, yo, don't don't panic, don't don't worry about it. You know, this is. Yo, I can't wait to tell Chris and Dallas this. It's gonna be something we tell our kids. Like this is, it's gonna be epic. And and we went in that, we went in the locker room at halftime. It wasn't a big rah rah speech. You guys came in, took we took our time off. We, we relaxed or whatever. We got the game plan, and we, we knew we knew we needed to play, and we, we came out and we and we did that. Okay, so after the strip sack, you see, I see Tom. Tom is pumped. You guys go. You say this is it. It's a wrap. We got it in your mind. Is that what you're thinking? We still have to make a lot of plays, but it, you know, in the moment, you're just you're you're excited that you you made the, an opportunity for offense. You gave them an opportunity to to get back on the field. So um, they had to go out there and execute, right? And they did. So um, I think that's the the best part about the whole process was just the end of the game situation. Um, the different situations that came up that had to work out perfectly. Perfectly, um, perfectly. everything had to go your way. And we had to execute perfectly. Yeah. So, I mean, just going your way is one thing, but, but executing execute perfectly, perfectly to go that way yeah. is the most impressive thing. When, when James White went over in overtime, did you guys know instantaneously the game's over? I mean, it was very close. Did he break the plane? Did he not? I, what was your reaction? I mean, the before, before that even happened, I'm walking around asking people, like, hey, if they score, yeah. is, is this good? Because like, <laughs> like, I'm yeah. just like, yeah. okay, we score, like, that's it. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> Once we got down to like that, okay. So when they had the PI, yep. I was like, Phew. it's hard to stop our offense right. um, down there yeah. with four opportunities. So, so I was just eagerly waiting to see what what play we called. And the first one was a pass, yeah. and well, second one touchdown. So that I, well, I don't know about you. The first one was a pass. I got nervous. I thought forty nine. Did that you not close. think about I mean, that? It was very close. Did you think about I that? Did. No, I, like, I just thought, hey, I don't, I don't know 
know, man, it's, it's, it's Tom Brady. It's, you know, put the ball in his hands and, you know, Josh McDaniels and Bill, and, and I'm sure they, they talked about whatever, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure they, they a lot of thought that it might have been a run or whatever, but, you know, Vic made a, made a good a good play on defending that. And, he did. I mean, it was a, it was a P.I., it was so. Close. But, um, yeah. you know, we, we, we got in, and James made a hell of a run, and, and, they, and they made it right to the second play call, and that's all that matter. So what, what happens right after that? You're on the field. What, what was going on now? I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> I want to run the field, but, like, wow, I don't know when the game's over. I don't know, yeah. like, did they?